happy December 5th. Oh, I do not feel good at all. Or at least my stomach doesn't. Last night, like, trying to sleep was bad. I think I woke up every hour and it felt like somebody was full on just stabbing me and my intestines. Oh my god. It was bad. I don't think I've... And this is a lot because I don't really sleep well through the night most nights. I don't remember the last time I had a night as bad as last night. I don't know if it's something I ate yesterday. Like, I have no idea what's going on, but I don't feel good. It's 8 a.m. I think. And I tried working on my paper last night, but I knew I'd have to wake up early before my meeting to work on it. The problem is... I always struggle with group projects because I'm always a person that cares too much but this group project specifically I think has been one of if not my worst group experience last like the other day probably like two nights ago I had already ended the vlog so y'all didn't get to see it but what was supposed to be a one hour meeting turned into a three hour meeting because just so many just so many reasons and like we didn't accomplish anything because everybody was on different pages like i had a full-on mental breakdown after we were done with that meeting because this final is 50 percent of my grade and i really love this class i'm doing well in this class and if it was 50 percent and it all relied on me that would have been different because it's like okay my grade i'm responsible for it but for this i'm depending on three other people and one person in our group made it pass fail so they just don't have they're just not putting in the same level of effort as the rest of us and we have this shared document where everybody's been writing and we we're supposed to be going into our 10 a.m meeting with everybody having their parts done and last night i was gonna freak out again because clearly that is not the case so I'm slightly in panic mode, but I can't even really afford to be in panic mode because I have to go meet with the agency, um, a photographer today, and I feel so physically, like, my stomach is so not good. And let me show you how it looks outside. Look at the weather. Oh, it makes me sad. I know I'm having really negative vibes right now, so I'm gonna get myself together and check and back with you when I'm like mentally in a better place. Okay, papers coming along. Meeting was concise, thank God. I'm ready. I feel a little bit more human. Wearing this right now is not feeling very comfortable, but this is the outfit let me show you all from a better angle okay this is what i'm wearing i googled it and they said to wear like all black i'm wearing these boots from the last haul or maybe the first haul and i was gonna wear the aviator but that just did not look cute so i'm wearing this instead I am praying these shoes don't hurt once I'm outside, but this is the outfit vibes. I left my apartment two hours early to make sure I was on time for this shoot. Two hours! Two hours, and I was still late thanks to the freaking train.
the look. You'd be great for beauty stuff. So <laughs> quite the face. Thank you. Yeah, quite the everything. Right? <laughs> yeah. so you're so sweet. Things. So I have this angel with me who's helping me move to Soho. Thank it's you so, so much. <laughs> oh, wait. And, and she looks fashionably like. Does I look like I'm out of yeah. the nature? I'm so happy I brought the wind. <laughs> Don't get blown away. I'm so happy I brought the sneakers, honey. Well, welcome to Brooklyn. Yes. This is bed size. So Jailer is going to be living by himself in a studio in Soho. <laughs> so come visit me. Yes. <laughs> I live right next to the park where I think it was Gucci did their runway show. No big deal. <laughs> Casual. Casual drop. <laughs> Casual. And the sun is coming out. It just had to rain when I was Voila. freaking out of my way to take photos. <laughs> making Jay do a fashion show. I think this is the part I, I'm looking forward to the most about packing. But I think when you're on the other end, it's like you have to say goodbye to your clothes and I think it's the hard part. But I, I'm enjoying the fashion show. It is quite hard, but... Do you want to show them the back of the jacket? Yes, honey. Wait, it hella matches the shoes. That looks so, so good together. Yes, okay, I'm not gonna... Those that bring you joy. The collar does. <laughs> I love the the beige and the white. Yeah. I wish it wasn't this like the the Ripley. You how know about, what I'm talking about? How about we decide this? We have to get rid of at least one. You have two of the. Why do you have two of the same thing, Jay? <laughs> that I don't like that one. Yeah. What would you wear that with? <sighs> See, the difference is though. You like color, and I don't like color, so maybe that is why I'm yes. biased towards the neutral. No, but I still need your opinion though, because. Out of the two, I'm going with the beige. The beige. What would you wear the what would you wear that one with? I've worn this before, but this one's actually a little tighter because it's smaller. So I like this one because it's more like You'd like a bigger baggier yeah, fit. It's a little bit more baggy. I think let's keep the brown one for now and then we'll get the part with the blue. This one was an easy choice for me. That's a no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is very Oregon. I really like that combo. Yeah. With a white shirt. Or a beige shirt, or a blue shirt. I think a white shirt, yeah. Oh, I like oh, it. <laughs> I hate it when people do that. I, I got a pair of joggers from ASOS that didn't have pockets. No, it was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> they have this pockets up top though. It's food time, ready? Be, I'm always ready. <laughs> Two, one, yes! Okay! Okay, give it to us. <laughs> Yes. I do like it with the pants, actually. I know, you proved me wrong. I with the docks, like, you made that work. I didn't think it was gonna work. But it kinda does. Jay was saying this is a jacket you wear to your mans with nothing underneath. And he could not be more correct. <laughs> then you just take it off and, like, boom. You're like, and he right. Especially with the interior, like, the red inside. Yeah. Yes. We like that, too. We love to see it. We did it! <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a solid 10k. I really think, <laughs> I really think, I Does really think. have a problem? Just a little, I, this is just only what we're keeping. Um, These are being sent back home. These, there's a, there's, I think, I think your first month's rent will be paid for once you sell <laughs> everything that's in there. Because there's some cute stuff in there. Yeah. Cute things. We did it. 
So much progress. Thank you so much for helping me. I did nothing. I did nothing but just observe a fashion show. You want this and you want this. Yeah, I also have so much clothes now. I'm like walking away with a new closet. Yes. We love this. And wings. <laughs> and wings. Hi friends, I am back home. I was low-key being followed while I was on the train and transferring. It was weird. This man would not leave me alone. And being a woman is... This really means feeling unsafe 24 7. He, uh, it was just, it was bad. Okay, it was bad, but I'm home, I'm safe, I'm alive. Thank you very much. Um, I had to like fake him out, it was a whole thing, but it's all good. I'm, I'm home, jailer. We packed so much, and I think he has a solid week left, but I think it'll be a lot easier now. So that makes me really happy. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but leading up to this shoot was such a mess because I had to get up super early after not being able to sleep the night before because of my stomach. And I don't know what was going on with my stomach, but it's finally a little bit better now, but it was still bothering me way into the day. So didn't really sleep. Then I had to wake up to work on my paper and then to have a meeting that I was really dreading if I'm being honest and I still timed everything enough where I was I was leaving way earlier than the apps were saying it would take for me to get there and of course the A train every weekend has issues every weekend always and I also feel like every time I really have to be somewhere by a specific time is more so when everything has delays i don't know if i manifest that with my negative energy and thoughts i don't know but today was so bad i ended up being 20 minutes late which is so unprofessional i hate being late to things i was like running and it was raining i couldn't even yeah i didn't even, and i also didn't know what i was really walking into so it was such a it was really stressful i went into it like panicky a little bit because i was running and i was late but she the photographer was so incredible so patient so kind she calmed me down i thought we were just gonna be meeting and get i don't know just her seeing me in person but then she said we're gonna take photos and my sweaty stressed ass started having an internal uh, panic because I was like I do not I am not I'm not ready for photos like I just ran here in the rain <laughs> but I'm at least really happy I wore the outfit that I did she loved what I was wearing so that made me really happy but yeah I think in a different world the shoot would have gone better but it is what it is it is still really fun and I got to meet one of the other girls for the agency today she's the first person I've met in person so that was also really nice but yes that was the end to this day thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you again tomorrow bye